are all of the voting systems, uh, at least at, in terms of what the, what the actual voters interacting with, air-gapped, or are any of them actually directly connected to the web? Well, they are supposed to be air-gapped. They all, they're all, all they are supposed to be air-gapped. They are supposed air-gapped. to be, correct. Uh, do you have concerns that maybe some of them are not as air-gapped as they think they are? <laughs> um, well, I think there's always concerns. You know, obviously people are people and mistakes can be made. I think one of the other challenges that we see with, uh, with voting is people pull computers out that were used for other things during the year, and then they plug them in and connect them to our voting machines and our, our ballot counting. And that is not a clean machine. That machine could obviously have been infected with malware or something else, and we're plugging that into our to our voter rolls, which is obviously a concern. It's like using a knife to cut your meat and then just kind of wiping it off and cutting your vegetables. You can't do that because it does cross-contaminate. Um, NPR just had a poll showing that a third of Americans are concerned that vote tallies and results could actually be changed so by a foreign government. So not just that they might meddle with mm-hmm. Facebook ads and the kind of stuff that we've seen, but that they could actually change vote tallies. Is that a justified or legitimate concern? I, I think anything is a justified and legitimate concern. We're, we're, again, we're looking at nation state actors that are very well resourced, very motivated, and um, I think we have to look at all aspects of security and how we're securing all of that sensitive data, whether it be your PII or your vote.